Well, you see, when I was riding it, an asteroid hit my house. <laughs> and waves of inspiration from the radiation, because it was radioactive. It was just our assignment. We could just do whatever we wanted. So You have to have repeating lines, so I wanted to make sure they made sense. I would just get these weird words and phrases, and then I'm like, yeah, let's do that. I don't know, like, I didn't know what it was about when I was writing it, but then when I was done and I read it out loud, I kind of realized it was kind of like me talking to a younger version of me. I do think it turned out the way I wanted it to. What inspired me was the Andy Goldsworthy project we had in IB, where we made um, something in the forest, and we, we took rocks and just made our own um, arrangement, and um, I started realizing all the things about the sun, like the energy, how we're needy upon the sun, and so with this, it's like all the organisms and all of the existence really is um, almost acting as magnets to the sun and that's why they're like clinging or like moving toward the sun in the painting. It was oil and the process again was just like adding new objects every day, come up with a different concept and idea and just go along like any white space. I would start out with one idea, do it, and then keep adding on ideas until the canvas was done. Because I used oil, the paint took a long time to dry. So going back and doing um, like layers that go the, over top or like different objects that overlapped, I, that was pretty hard. I realized how much, um, even though I, it took a lot of time to do, I realized that um, painting like a whole canvas was a lot better than just painting like a tree on a canvas, I guess.